Showerez co-defendant Olawale Bakare, aka Mandate, is a 23-year-old young man that has seen the light. He has seen the light and is standing up for what he believes in. And that is say no to corruption, no to autocracy, say no to nepotism. Showerez co-defendant Bakare has been declared missing. He has been declared missing. Activist Olawale Bakare, popularly known as Manit, like I said, who is standing trial with pro-democracy campaigner Omoele Shore in a case brought against them by the Nigerian government, has been declared missing. Operatives of the Department of State Services, Daura State Services, had stormed the Federal High Court in Abuja on Friday morning during the commencement of their trial and disrupted proceedings in an attempt to forcefully rearrest the two men. This is clear that there is nothing like democracy right now. It is military rule with the cloth of a civilian. There is nothing civilian democratic about this administration. As you can even see, I wouldn't know if it is spiritual or brain or, or, or their brains have been suspended how can the vice president a lawyer a professor will be the vice president of a man a pastor of course we know that churches and the clerics and the rest of them they are all friends of politicians and they are all the same in fact in churches now they practice politics so they will say nothing about this today is 6th december 2019, Omoyele Shore and Mandate after the court through justice, Ijomo Juku commanded the DSS to release him and they did yesterday, 5th Thursday, December 2019. Just less than 24 hours, they were in court and the DSS came into the court, disrupted the court proceeding and decided to forcefully grab Omoyele Shore and mandate. Operatives of the Department of State Services stormed the federal High court, like I said, in Abuja on Friday 6th December 2019 in the morning during the commencement of the trial and they disrupted the proceedings in an attempt to forcefully kidnap the two men. After facing resistance from other activists inside the courtroom however the dss operatives retreated outside to lay ambush the situation led to tension within the court premises for several hours several minutes senior advocate of nigeria and lawyer to the two men femi falano who said to had ferried the defendants in his car to the dss headquarters where they were said to have been detained however it has now emerged that only Shure, who was in Falano's vehicle as they left the court, was submitted back to the DSS. That is the story. In fact, the Daura State Service, whatever they are, they chased the car of the senior advocate of Nigeria, Femi Falano. They chased the car and he knew that they were going to open fire and kill him and kill them he knows these guys care less about anything they are blood suckers they are evil people now operators of the agencies are currently searching for bakari in different parts of abuja the armed security personnel in their search for the young activists stormed falano's chamber in abuja this afternoon hoping to find him there this evening a lawyer at the chamber confirmed to Sahara reporters that Ham DSS operatives visited the place minutes ago looking for Bakare after claiming that he was not in their facility. The lawyer who asked not to be named said DSS operatives just stormed our chamber now looking for Olawale Bakare. They claim it was discovered he was not with them by the time they arrived their office. They are currently searching everywhere for him. We are hoping that he is safe wherever he is. After releasing Shore and Bakari on Thursday evening, the DSS on Friday filed fresh charges against them, rearresting and detaining Shore in the process. The uncertainty surrounding Bakari's whereabouts at the moment has indeed added a new twist to the matter. He was arrested in Oshobo Ocean State 
on August 5th, 2019 for participating in a nationwide peaceful demonstration aimed at demanding a better country for the administration of President Muhammadu Buhari. And I prefer to use the word General Muhammadu Buhari. I prefer using the word they were kidnapped. Together with Shawure, Bakari was ordered to be released twice by the Federal High Court in Abuja after meeting stringent bail conditions. And right now, they have declared Olawale Bakare missing. I wouldn't know what has happened to this young man. As I said to you guys earlier, these people care less about anybody. They might have found a way of, you know, putting this guy somewhere. And I don't know. We are talking about this. They, we are talking about life now. They might kind of kill these people or do something because they know that nothing is going to happen. That is their thought. But more than what they think or bargain for is going to happen. Like I do say, that country has expired. Let's call a spade a spade. Nigeria has expired. Some say it is not nigger area, but that is the meaning. It has expired. It has expired. It's a contraption. It has expired. Amalgamation of the north and the south is what brought that name Nigeria, nigger area together. And it has expired. 1st January 2014. Go and check if you don't believe this. That is what it is. It has expired. It's like eating food that has expired. If you keep eating it, you end up dead. That is what is happening right now. Corruption, corruption, corruption. 50 years rule of the military. And you thought democracy will come? No. When civilians came in, they are thieves. When the military criminals that are not tired of power, they threw away the military uniform. But inside of them, they know nothing else. They do nothing about democracy. That country has been raped by the British Caucasians and now is still being raped by some criminals. What a shame. So guys, that is what it is for now. If you're not a member of this channel, you can do so by tapping on the subscription button. You can be a part of this channel. We can grow this together and the red notification icon will simply alert you. Tap on it whenever these videos are uploaded. Thanks for stopping by.